Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and in this video we're continuing to make a tooltip in Unity. We're going to take our tooltip and create a item stats window with various text fields and images. Let's begin. So over here is the tooltip we have built so far. It is great for displaying simple text to the player, like the description of what each button does and extra information on each field. As you can see, it follows the mouse and we can update it in real time. Now in this video, we want to reuse some of the code from this tooltip to create a complex tooltip to show stats of these items in here. So let's start off by making the complex tooltip in the editor. We're going to duplicate our original tooltip, call it the tooltip item. So the first thing we need is a label for our name. Then we're also going to have a description of each item and we're going to position it going under the mouse. So our tooltip is anchored on the lower left side. And now for this one, let's anchor it on the upper left side. All right, so this is the layout we're going with. We have an item name, then we have an item description, a image for the item, and a bunch of stats that will be different between each item. Okay, so with our tooltip created in the editor, now let's take care of our class. In order to do it, we're going to start off by duplicating the tooltip class. That way we can reuse some code. Okay, so we now have this class. And now in here, the code that we can reuse is the code for following the mouse and to make sure it does not leave the screen. The only difference here is our tooltip was anchored on the lower left side and now we are anchoring on the upper left side. So in here, instead of anchored position Y plus, we do a minus. So just like that, we should have our item stats tooltip correctly following the mouse. Now on the awake, let's grab the reference to the various text fields. Okay, so these are the various fields we have. We have the name, description, and the various stats. We no longer need to update in real time, so we can remove this. And on our show tooltip, let's start off by making one where we only show the item name. So to start off things very simple. In here, we just set the name text.text .text to be the item name, okay. We're not going to resize the background and here make the static version of this function, which is just like this. Okay, so our tooltip should be working for changing the item name. So we can now go into the window in order to test. This is the window that I have set up for testing. It is a very basic window. It just has some buttons which function exactly like these ones. And on each button, I have a symbol component that contains the information out of each item. This is the component that contains the information from each item. It has a sprite, a name, description, and the stats. So in the script on the window, let's first test it by using the tooltip item stats and add a tooltip. Let's add it to the first button and just say test item name. Okay. So let's see if our custom complex tooltip shows up when we pass the mouse over the first button. Okay. Here's the scene and there's the old tooltip still working perfectly fine. And now when we pass the first button, yep, there you go. There's our new complex tooltip being shown. You can see that it has the test item name, it has the layout we set, and everything is working correctly. All right, so now obviously let's fill up the rest of the fields. So we're going to change our show tooltip function. Now in here we need, let's first receive a sprite for the item sprite. Then we get the item name, then a string for the item description, and then int for the stats. So in here, let's set all of our fields. First the name text, then the description text, Okay, so we now have our function receiving all the information that it needs. So let's just update our static function. And just like that, our tooltip is now receiving all the information it needs. So now let's go into the window items. And again, here in the editor, just for testing, I have had the item info component, which contains all these fields. So let's grab this for each button. Okay. 
Okay, so we are cycling through our six buttons. We grab the item info that is attached as a component to each of them, and we add the tooltip onto that button using that item's info. All right, so let's see if all of them are correctly showing their info. Okay, so here we are, and again, the old tooltip still works perfectly fine. And now when I pass over an item, yep, there you go, there's all of the stats of each item being correctly updated. It has an item name, a description, a item image, and the various stats, and all of them are updating correctly. So as you can see, we've reused the code to follow the mouse and keep the window on the screen, which allowed us to make this complex tooltip very quickly. And as you can see, all the elements of the dynamic tooltip were created very simply, so we could easily swap out the stats for bars instead of showing numbers. So there you have it. We took some code from our normal tooltip and made a complex item tooltip with multiple fields and images. As always, you can download the project files and utilities from unitycodemonkey.com. If you have any questions, post them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time.